Welcome to Enjoy Life's Adventures. Come with us on this episode as we buy a sailboat and then travel to the Tall Ship Celebration in Bay City, Michigan. Hi, it's Eric and Debbie, and we're on our way to do what? To pick up our next new boat. Not new, new, new to us. We are buying a 1985 38 foot Irwin Center cockpit. So we're a little excited because this is now going to help us get towards the next step in our lives, our, our next, next adventure. adventure. <laughs> our next adventure. So currently we have a 32 foot Silverton cabin cruiser and we've been progressively going up in boats and we are now moving from motor to sail. Which is a little nervous for me. I've never sailed. You can't say you've never sailed. All right. So I've never been sailing on a monohull. On a monohull. Yes. We did go sailing a on a catamaran. Yes. We rented a Gemini catamaran 35 and we did not like it. So we searched. We've been searching for three, three years. years for our right sailboat and rented a catamaran and thought catamaran was going to be the way to go. But Especially for me because I was a little nervous about the healing so, over. Yeah. So I sailed when I was younger. Hopefully our other videos will show that and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But right now we are heading over to the owner's house to transfer title and money. And hopefully here in the next 40, 30 minutes will be owners of the new sailboat. So more to come. All right. It's us again, Debbie and Eric. Well, Eric and Debbie. No, it's Debbie and Eric. It's us. <laughs> so we just came back uh, from the previous owner's house because we are now the new owners <laughs> of the 1985 38-foot Irwin. We just Center told them that in the other clip. I know, but I'm telling them again because I'm very excited about getting a sailboat. <laughs> we are excited. It's a new chapter, new adventures. I'm just, I'm very excited. So am I. But there's a lot of work ahead. Stick with us because the boat's not new. It's not brand new. It's new to us. Uh, there is some things that we know that we have to do. Uh, we need to do chain plates on the boat. We need to do some fuel tanks and we got to get her running. She's been sitting on the hard for six years. Six years, six years maybe over six years. Uh, <clears throat> the previous owner has two boats. Uh, one that he kind of built himself and worked on. Uh, he didn't build the boat, but he built most of the interior and redid the boat. So that's the one that he's keeping. Uh, this one, they sailed down in the Bahamas for three years. So it's only been in salt water for three years of its life. Uh, the rest has been spent, as far as we know, on the Great Lakes. Uh, he bought it over in Lake Michigan, and it is currently now on Lake St. Clair, and we will be moving her once we get her fixed up to Lake Huron. So she is going to sail the Great Lakes, and then from the Great Lakes, hopefully we can get down the intercoastal. To after, the we, <clears throat> after we do a lot of sailing up into the North Channel, uh, to Mackinac and the Great Lakes. But there's no ETA on it. There's no ETA. It is... Unknown. Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. We're off on another adventure. Want to tell them where we're going? It's a mini adventure. Mini adventure. We're headed to Bay City to go look at the uh, tall ships. The tall or, boats. As he likes to call them, the tall boats. So yes, every uh, three years, I believe it is, Yes. Bay City has a tall ship celebration. So a lot of the tall ships come in from all over the world and they offer tours on them. You get a passport ID type deal and you get to go on the boats and see all the, all the tall ships. Yep. And, uh, so. It's, it's not free. It's not free. <laughs> Not free, I wish. Of course. They have to uh, maintain those ships somehow. So that's Bay City, Michigan. It is uh, on Saginaw Bay. 
And on today is Sunday. Yes. And on Monday they all leave. Uh, they came in Thursday. They leave on Monday, most of them, I believe, as long as weather permits. And I believe six years ago it was when we had our small boat, me and my dad went out on our 19 foot four winds and we sat out in Saginaw Bay. It was crystal clear, glass, water, just awesome. It was a nice day and we watched all the tall ships leave uh, and put up all their sails and that was really cool. So we're going to try to do that again, uh, Debbie and I, on Monday. We took Monday off work and we're going to go out and take our 32 foot cabin cruiser yep. and we're going to go sit out on the bay and hopefully be able to see and watch the tall ships leave. So we're going to ask around the tall ship captains today and see what day they plan on leaving at what time so we get a general idea and try to be out there on Saginaw Bay when they leave and hopefully we can get some good footage of that. Clipper named Chaucer. Her famous captain, Thomas Boyle, was one of America's most notorious privateers or legal pirates. Boyle sailed to the British Isles, harassed the British merchant fleet, and captured and sank 17 British vessels before returning home to Baltimore Harbor, where he and his ship were declared the pride of Baltimore. She is Maryland's working symbol of the great natural resources and spectacular beauty of the Chesapeake Bay region and a reminder of America's rich maritime heritage. Her draft is 12 foot 6, her beam is 26 foot 4, the length is 157 feet. Her sail area is 9,000 square feet. What's the height? What's the mast? Mast height, um, 107 feet. 107 feet. That's the rig height. The 284-ton Bark Picton Castle is a traditionally rigged and operated sailing training ship based in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, but she is probably best known for her voyages around the world. Along the way, Picton Castle delivers much needed educational materials and other supplies to the remote islands she visits. Over the past 15 years, the ship has made a total of seven trips around the world the latest of which will conclude when she visits the Great Lakes in 2019 as part of the Tall Ships Challenge race series. Her flag is from the Cook Islands. She's bark rigged. She's 179 feet in length. Her draft is 14 feet 6 inches. Her beam is 24 feet. The rig height is 97 feet. Her sail area is 12,450 square feet, and her hull is made of steel.
Blue Nose 2 is a replica of the original Blue Nose, which was built in 1921 in Lunenburg. Under Captain Angus Walters, she became famous as the winner of the International Fisherman series of scooter races from that day until her last race in 1938. Blue Nose was featured on the Canadian postage stamp in 1928 and on the Canadian dime in 1937, where she still can be seen today. The original Blue Nose was lost in 1946 on a reef near Haiti. Her flag is Canada. She's a gaff rig schooner. Her home port is Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. She's 181 feet in length. Her draft is 16 feet 3 inches. Her beam is 27 feet, with a rig height of 125 feet. She has a sail area of 11,000 square feet, and her hull is made of wood. Over 900 volunteers completed Discovery World's tall ship, the sailing vessel Dennis Sullivan. This replica of the Great Lakes schooner and flagship of Wisconsin operates as the floating classroom and goodwill ambassador for the state of Wisconsin. From her home port in Milwaukee on Lake Michigan, the sailing vessel Dennis Sullivan offers educational day sails in private charters for people of all ages from May through September and is committed to re-establishing the historical, cultural, and environmental bond between community and one of its most valuable resources. Her flag is USA. Her rig is a three-masted schooner. Her home port is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She's 137 feet in length. Her draft is 9 foot 6 inches. Her beam is 24 feet. Her rig height is 95 feet. She has a sail area of 4,597 square feet and her hull is made of wood. The Santa Maria is a reproduction of one of the most important ships in history, one of three caravels in Christopher Columbus's fleet when he sailed from Spain to North America in 1492. The Santa Maria was launched in 2017 to celebrate the 525th birthday of her home port Huelva, Spain. She promotes the region's history of ships, seamen, and seafaring tradition. Her length is 95 feet, her draft is 9 feet, her beam is 25 feet, her rig height is 80 feet, she has a sail area of 2,691 square feet. She is made of fiberglass covered by Iroka wood. The flagship U.S. Brig Niagara is one of the most historical authentic tall ships in the United States as an accurate reproduction of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry, victorious flagship from the War of 1812's Battle of Lake Erie. The ship represents both Pennsylvania and her home port of Erie in ports throughout the Great Lakes. The ship currently offers three distinctive educational programs to the public. Her length is 198 feet. She has a draft of 12 feet. Her beam is 32 feet. Her rig height is 120 feet. Her sail area is 11,600 square feet. Her hull is made of wood. Although we did not get a chance to see all the tall ships, we had a great time. If you're interested in finding out more about them, go to www.tallshipcelebration.com. Good morning. Good morning. So, heading out for another adventure this morning. It is, what time did you say it was? It is 5.56 a.m. 5.56 a.m. We have never gotten out this early. Uh, something we've been wanting to do <laughs> is to get out there for out to the bay, um, Saginaw Bay, Lake Huron area for uh, sunrise. So, that's where we're headed. We might miss it. Hopefully not. Sunrise is at 6.14, it's 5.56, it takes us a half an hour to get out the river. Yeah, we might miss it. But, we can see it from the river. <laughs> we're going to go watch the tall ships leave. That's where we're heading. Hopefully we see some tall ships leave today. And uh, Just spend all day out there on the water. Spend a That's day what on it's the all about. Enjoy life's adventure.
So this is going down the Agre River. Out into the bay. Clouds look like waves. So right now we're on our thirty two foot cabin cruiser cabin fever. Now that we've bought the uh, sailboat, she will be going up for sale. sunrise. I kind of missed it because of the clouds. It's still, okay, it's still pretty, right? We're out on the water. It's pretty calm out here right now. Charity Island out there. is my only medication wishing my condition ain't ever gonna go away Cause now I'm knee deep in the water somewhere got the blue sky breeze blowing wind through my hair only worry in the world is a tide gonna reach my chair Sunrise is a fire in the sky never been so happy never felt so high and I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise After relaxing listening to music and enjoying the view, the weather turned rough. We didn't see too many tall ships leave. We seen a few. The Pride of Baltimore came right across the bow of our boat. But due to the weather, we couldn't get really good footage. We had a nice motor back. And now we look forward to our next adventure with you. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with friends. All of this stuff helps us. Support our channel. Hit the notification bell so you can come along with us and enjoy life's adventures. I don't think I'm prepared for this. Serious. Serious. We're never going to be able to film an episode. <laughs> so awkward. I can't just turn it off that quickly. Turn it off. And we'll edit all this out because I can't find the button. That's all the time. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. We'll get better at this. Where the hell is it? It's seriously. All right, we just died. All right, I might have to turn the camera around. We had a Stop that shoulder ahead. I can't find the off button again.